down to Damascus, Virginia. We've been staying up at White Top, Virginia, which is way up in the mountains that way. But we found a park that's right by the AT. Do you see that white blaze right there? And we're just exploring this sweet little city. It's really cute and quaint, but it's also freezing. We're definitely up in the mountains now. And it's today is April Fool's Day, actually. It's April 1st. So it's really cold here. They're having a cold snap, but we've seen like maybe 25 or 30 AT hikers. And I'm kind of amazed at them. Like they have been slogging through the hills in uh, North Carolina and Tennessee, and then they made it here and it's just freezing. And they're about to go up into the part of Virginia that we're in, which is the tallest mountains in Virginia. So kudos to them. I am still experiencing problems with my knee. And so rather than backpacking like we had planned through Grayson Highlands, I think Doug is gonna take some of the kids and I am gonna stay with May and the two little boys and just ice up my knee because I'm having to basically walk. Okay, what do you guys think of Damascus, Virginia? Uh, I feel like it'd be way more enjoyable if it wasn't like 20 degrees outside. Yeah, Snowing it's yeah. super cold. What do you guys think about the AT hikers that are already here? Well, they are, they gonna... are way more devoted than I would be as a mother. I'm sad for them. <laughs> You're yeah, sad well, for them. They guy, do look really cold. One guy had shorts on. Like, yeah. yeah, that guy was blazing out of town when we first got here to town, so... He's walking into the cold air, which is very, like May said, very devoted. <laughs> Glad we have a cabin. It, it wouldn't be fun to camp without the proper gear here right now. We are staying in a cabin that's right along the Virginia Creeper Trail, which I didn't know about, but it's a bike trail that's one of America's premier bike trails that goes through the mountains here in Virginia. But it's just an old grandma's house basically. <laughs> and it does not have Wi-Fi, which one of our kids is really mad about. But what I like about this is we are warm, but we're still getting the mental quiet and natural enjoyment of just being in a place and not being constantly entertained. This morning, I spent time journaling. One of the things that we're doing is just to write our son who's in boot camp. I made the goal personally of writing him at least once a week. And I think we've been writing him like every two or three days. And then some of the kids have taken it upon themselves to write him more often. But I found all these cards at a thrift store, like 30 of these for like two bucks. And they were already pre-stamped and they are, UPS holiday trucks but what I did was I've been whiting out the UPS logo and then like telling Ethan um, about where we are and what it looks like and so I've been using these as our way to keep in touch with Ethan and it's been really fun just to tell him about our experiences and journeys and so this morning we went and dropped off a letter and then I am reading a book about business by one of the queens of business thinking through ideas that I have, but just the things we're gonna to need to learn to run a lodge and cabins business. being 
around Appalachian Trail culture has done for me is disabuse me of the notion that I really want to do it. Something I'm thinking through during this trip is how I want to use this next phase of my life. While I've thought about things like the Appalachian Trail throughout my life, now I'm 41, I'll be 42 this year, and I don't want to spend my life doing things that I'm not made for. One of the things that I am made for is learning and digging in and enjoying adventure and experiences. And so I feel like that part of me will be very rewarded and enthusiastic about running the lodge and cabins business because we will have bikers and fishermen and families coming through and having their own adventures. And I think that will be very rewarding for me. So I am thinking through how to have my whole self be fully present in this next season that we're walking into. One of my phrases for this month has been, wherever you are, be all there. It's a quote from Jim Elliott. Um, and it's an intense quote. Like, it's hard to be all there in life. I think this current world structure has all of us who are entering into internet life at all. We run the risk of being fragmented as a person where we have this interest over here that's kind of moving us in one direction and then the people that we're rooted with are moving the direction that we're moving and it's very hard to stay integrated as a person in your life because there are so many different rabbit trails that you can follow. I am interested in so many different things and I can end up going down too many rabbit trails. That's definitely a danger for me. And so I like places like this and moments like this in my life where there's no Wi-Fi and it gives me a chance to reevaluate myself as a whole person without the constant distractions that can fragment me. And I think we all run that risk in various ways, but um, for me, my mental curiosity can end up being a harmful thing if I'm not careful to harness it. I won't do this all the time, but I do want to ask, but if you want to follow my story and the things that I'm experiencing and learning and observing, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Follow along and enter in. I'd welcome your comments, questions, thoughts. Yeah, thanks for following along. Aww.